Good evening, I'm Harry Keeling, and on behalf of Alaska Public Media and the Alaska Aviation Safety Foundation, welcome to Hangar Flying. Tonight we've got Kerry Long back on. Kerry is the FAA Regional Administrator for Alaska, and he's been in the job a little over a year. Last time, if you tuned in, he talked about some of the improvements that the FAA has continued to uh, install uh, and some of the technology that were on the state that has made aviation safe safer. Uh, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about what I feel is his personal and deeply felt concern for aviation safety. Kerry, welcome back. Thank you, Harry. You've been here a little over a year, and I suspect from having talked at length with you and one of your great disappointments in mine as well has been the frustratingly elusive goal of reducing or eliminating the fatal and serious injury accidents, the FSI. We had a conversation recently I can only describe as it was depressing. Um, I can remember having a conversation with you last year uh, about the end of the fiscal year and the FSI was the lowest it's ever been since you've been keeping records. And you and I were, you were, I think, in my office and we said, wow, yep. eight accidents, <laughs> 10 fatalities. When compared to the year before 2013, we had 21 FSIs and 33 fatalities. The problem is I find ourselves on a roller coaster. A month, six weeks ago, two months ago, we were looking great. We were un under the wire. And now in the past month, we've had four accidents. I think it was four. With, uh, with fatalities in less than a month. What should we be doing that we're not? Well, Harry, I don't know that a regulator has ever said this, but I have more questions than answers about that. It's, uh, it, it's easy to say it's, it's uh, an art, not a science. It's, it involves uh, com cutting across generations, although, frankly, I'm not sure there are gener necessarily generational issues with some of these, these recent accidents, uh, there's some kind of one-off strange things that I'm not sure a regulator can ever do, but we've tried to reach a bit beyond that with, for example, your organization and uh, the, the Millennium folks to, to try and get people to aspire and maintain a higher level of safety than a regulator requires. And th the problem is we've gotten it down pretty close. Any, any of uh, Fatal or serious injury is one too many, but we've we've uh, we we spend our efforts, and this is an organization with a mission, and the mission is aviation safety to try and reduce uh, the number of accidents overall, but particularly FSIs. And my th I, my theory is it's always it's nice to have uh, people come home at night, be with their family to, for dinner. It's getting people home, getting the villages taken care of. I I think. We, you've, you've spoken to the issues about getting back to basics. We have to get back to basics and make sure that the folks that we're trying to get back to the basics know what we're talking about and, and, and that we're stressing the right issues to them so that they understand that we, that we know what, what they need. We sympathize to their needs, with their needs, and we're meeting their needs. Uh, and I'm, I'm speaking in generalities because there are so many ways we, we can attack this, the, the safety seminars you do, and you have another one coming up shortly. Uh, the, the, those things are fabulous, but what we have to do is get the people that don't come, yeah. that are flying airplanes, or heaven help us, the kids, the, you know, the young folks who want to fly, that we aren't inspiring to fly or to fly safely. And that is an age-old challenge that I, I will assure you that I'm, all, I'm up here for one reason, and that's to make sure that we we make progress. We can't stop it because of all of the decision making made by, by people, uh, folks out there, some very experienced pilots who do some very things that are not particularly advisable that may cost them their lives. Uh, we had a prop strike r recently, for example. I, when I stop taking this personally is when it's time for me to go. But I have, and I understand you've got some things you want to express and I'd love to hear them. Well, thank you for those thoughtful words. Um, I want to have you back on the program maybe after the, maybe in a couple months. I want to talk about this concept you have of influencers and also some of the research and uh, studies that you've looked at on the generational issue. I think that's fascinating. I'd like to maybe get you back in, in a couple of months and talk and have a couple of sessions on that. Be delighted. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to depart a little bit 
from uh, an approach I've used before. I, uh, you know, I was recently interviewed on on another uh, channel, and uh, they asked me, "Are we making progress?" And I said, "I don't know. It's disappointing because it's it, it is this roller coaster." You know, we have these accidents. The NTSB does a tremendously professional job of, of looking into them, um, but it usually takes a year, sometimes two years, to come out with a final report. And that's the way it should be because it, you, you can't jump to conclusions. But I'm going to share a couple of thoughts with you because I don't want, I don't want to wait that long uh, to get these words out. This is nothing magic, but I want to tell you this. Here's a couple things to keep in mind, and you can tie them to the accidents that we had this summer if you want. If the engine is running, someone needs to be in the pilot seat. Two, if you don't have situational awareness and clear aggressively, you may someday have a midair. Three, if you are on a VFR flight plan, don't fly in the clouds, ever. And four, don't fly low over crowds of people, particularly family and friends. Kerry, thanks for being on the program. Thank you, Harry. Ladies and gentlemen, fly safe.